I wish I knew about this app years ago. Why don't they teach it like that in school? Like, that's my question. Hello, my name is Emmy, and I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to document the process of learning Spanish. Today, I am here to bless you with some information. You've probably heard about apps like Duolingo, Memrise, Babbel, um, Rosetta Stone. There are a million different language learning apps out there, and some of them are good and some of them are bad. And a lot of them are just kind of like, and I do know a couple really good ones, but today I wanted to talk about one that no one really talks about and I don't know why. It deserves so much more recognition and that is why I'm making this video. She deserves so much better. And I'm talking about language transfer. So if you don't know about it and you want to learn a new language or you're currently learning one and you're still in kind of the beginner stage, stick around because I'm going to be explaining why I think this app is so damn good. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what language transfer is, how it works, and why I think this is such a game changing app, and at the end, just some cons to keep it honest here. Yeah. Okay, so what is language transfer? So language transfer is a free app that primarily focuses on grammar, and it's not one of those free apps that you actually have to pay to get the premium version to get the whole package no 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 it's actually free it relies completely on donations so unless you want to donate it is completely free what's crazy about it is that it was created by one guy it doesn't have a whole team behind it. It was just this one dude who I think is Greek and he was explaining that okay the language teaching is done notoriously badly and there has to be a better way and I'm gonna make that better way. Okay, next, how does it work? Okay, first of all, it is a classroom style. So basically the Greek guy, he's a teacher and he always has a student, a volunteer student, and they're just doing a class together. So it really feels like you're in a classroom. The length of each lesson varies. It's sometimes only five to six minutes or sometimes it goes up to 15 minutes, but still the point is it's not very long. Another key feature is that there is no memorization. He discourages memorizing and even note-taking, which was bizarre to me at first because for me, I used to think that language learning, like such a huge proportion of it was just memorizing a lot of stuff, like memorizing vocabulary, memorizing grammar rules and that kind of stuff. And I still think it's really important to use flashcards and stuff to expand your vocabulary. However, in language transfer, it really focuses on teaching you how the language works. It always makes you dissect the language to it's like its tiniest piece and then it makes you build the sentence from there. So the lessons are always full of like mental exercises. So your brain is like busy then entire time. And kind of related to that point, another key feature is that it takes a very linguistic approach. You might be like, oh my god, linguistics, that sounds way too difficult. But actually, I don't think so. I think it makes it way easier to approach languages that way. And the lesson, the guys always kind of relating the words to each other, looking where they came from, categorizing them into groups, constantly comparing it to different languages. He explains why certain grammar rules exist. It's always just like connecting the dots. And that's fun. That is very satisfying to me. What used to seem like random ass rules that I just had to kind of memorize now makes sense to me. It happened multiple times when I was like, oh my god, I see now. Why didn't they teach me it like that in school? So that's fun. That kind of language learning is fun to me. It just makes it so much more interesting. So it's always about identifying words and rules that you can convert or transfer from one language to another. And I think that's why this app is called Language Transfer because it's, it's, it's doing it all the time. It's a constant thing. What I love Love about this app is that it doesn't start with the basics and what I mean by that is that it doesn't start with a typical like hola como estas no he starts by saying you know what English and Spanish are actually related and there's a bunch of words that we can convert from English to Spanish so why don't we look at those first and that's how it starts for example there's this golden rule that I was like mind blown by and it goes like this words ending in I O N, such as like opinion passion preparation creation organization those type of words. Those you can all convert right into Spanish. Just to say it in the Spanish way. Opinión, pasión, creación, like that. And it gets better. Out of those, take the ones that end in Asian. For example, like preparation, creation, organization, complication. Take out the shun at the end and add an R. And that gives you the verb form in Spanish. Okay, so this is how it works. For example, preparation. If you read it in the Spanish way, it goes preparación. Take out the shun and add an R at the end. Preparar. That means to prepare. Another example, generation. We have the word generation in English. If you read it the Spanish way, it goes generación. Drop the shun, stick an R at the end. Generar, that means to generate. 
And it goes for other words as well, like creation, creación, crear. Complication, complicación, complicar. And the guy's like, see, you already know a thousand different Spanish verbs. This method is brilliant. Why don't they teach it like that in school? Like, that's my question. Why don't they teach it like this in school? So that's why I think this app is amazing and that it's really special. You take your time to dissect the language. It takes you through the language in a way that really helps you understand the language. It's constantly giving you all these mental exercises so that you can really internalize it as well. To me, it almost feels like this whole course is just a love letter from one language nerd to another. There's so many good things to say about this app in general, but there's one crucial thing Thing that is very multi-nay, I don't know. How do you say it in English? There's one big con that is hard to ignore, and that is that unfortunately there's not a lot of languages. What do they have? So they have Spanish, Arabic, Turkish, German, Greek, Italian, Swahili, French, and English for Spanish speakers. So they've got those nine languages, and if your target language isn't that, I'm sorry, but they don't have Korean or Chinese or Japanese. I have a lot of friends, especially who are studying Korean because like K-pop and K-dramas are such a huge thing now, but unfortunately they still don't have those courses but well let's just hope that other languages would be added in the future this isn't like really criticizing the app itself or anything but one thing i would say is that if you're just doing language transfer it's not going to make you fluent no i think it's good to be using it with a combination of different sources definitely because it's really more focused on the grammar and the structure of the language and all that so the vocabulary you learn is very limited so you should definitely use it with another or multiple different sources and that is all I have to say about this app. Okay, honestly, I've only done about like 20 something lessons so far out of 90. So I still got a long way to go, but I really wanted to make this video like right now since it's a very New Year's resolution season. And I know a lot of people maybe want to pick up a new language in 2021. So I thought it's like the perfect time to make this video and share it with you guys. So I'll definitely link their website down in the description. So go check it out if you want. I love this course. <laughs> Can you tell? Can, <laughs> can you tell? Was it obvious? Mm, you know me too well. <laughs> so this was a very different type of video, but I hope you guys found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. And it would make me so happy if you could subscribe. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> they should honestly hire me as their sales and marketing person.